I almost called him Mr. T. <laughs> you too, <laughs> you too, T. <laughs> Hello, Silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for Silver education, acquisition, entertainment. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> okay, hey, Tuli Tuli here on my channel. Uh, Tuli Tuli, so glad to have you with me. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. And uh, let's talk a little bit about who you are and where you came from. Uh, I've noticed you like in live stream chats and on uh, on other channels. And then you've commented on some of my videos before you became a YouTuber. And then eventually you took the plunge and actually became a YouTuber. Uh, when did that happen? Uh, how did it happen? Why did it happen? Tell us everything. Oh, wow. So... I want to say sometime in 2019, I had a different username and early 2020, I changed that to Tuli Tuli and I've been a loyal viewer for uh, many years uh -huh. and I've watched a lot of different channels and supported them along the way. Uh -huh. And I something about this year, I know um, uh, I want to say, I'll be your Huckleberry. I see him in a lot of chats and he's made a comment to me about you should start your own channel. And I joke around with him saying he planted the seed and then uh -huh. uh, Supreme Ginger Stacker kind of made the same comment. Uh -huh. So I just thought, you know what, why not try it? So here I am. That's awesome. And how long has it been now? Uh, a month or two? Oh, not even. I think it's going on a month actually. Okay, gosh, it, you know, it, you're, it's kind of one of those things that kind of, you came in like fast and furious. I mean, it's not like you decided to make a video and wait three weeks and make another video and then wait three weeks. Uh, you've been putting out some content. I have been, and I didn't really tell anybody I was doing it either. So I don't know if that worked in my benefit or not. I snuck onto the YouTube feed and kind of just uh did it organically i guess you could say i yeah i kind of wanted to see where it would go it's been a blast so far i really enjoy it and everyone's been so supportive oh absolutely it's a great community it really is and when you say you didn't tell anybody do you mean like your family and friends and that kind of thing oh uh, none of my friends know my parents do know uh -huh. I, but yeah none of my friends or and anybody other than my parents nobody knows mm -hmm. and i like to keep that a secret i I'm... don't want anybody in the community i live in knowing i haven't even told my local coin shops mm -hmm. and i don't think a lot of them would like it actually because not all of them have spoke good about youtube so huh? i don't ever plan on telling them <laughs> so yeah. that's also going to remain a secret yeah, I've noticed uh, in my travels that some LCS uh, owners are very welcoming to the idea of getting free publicity for their shop and showing off the, uh, you know, the stuff they have in their store. And others act um, very guarded about it and don't want to have anything to do with it and uh, kind of scoff at the idea. And to me, I, that always kind of struck me as weird because they actually have a shop and they want to attract people to that shop. Um, I can understand why you and me and so many others, you know, private citizens don't want the whole world knowing, but I don't know, I never did quite understand that about shops that, you know, they have a storefront, they, they have advertising, but yet they don't want YouTube type of advertising. It's kind of weird. It, it is. I, I, I don't know if you've noticed the same thing, uh, but most of the coin shops I go to, are uh, run by old guys and you know they you know they sometimes they can be a little grumpy or have their opinions <laughs> and that's that you know very true <laughs> hey you and i have a similar passion um i know you love your vintage silver uh how did that develop have you always been into the vintage is that a new development and i will tell you this um i've noticed that over time you know people's taste kind of changes and evolves and tell me a little bit about your affinity for uh vintage silver okay so vintage in general any item i've always been attracted to and 
in my stacking journey, I did not start off with vintage pieces. And a lot of the pieces that we consider vintage now is not what I was stacking back then. I recently started collecting more vintage pieces, but I did it without even realizing it. Uh -huh. It was subconscious in a way. Uh -huh. And I just, I kept finding rounds and I was like, these are beautiful. And I just kept accumulating them and adding them to my stack. And I learned more and more history about some of the pieces and I found it intriguing and I wanted to add them more into my collection. The one downfall about that is I have more of an attachment to those pieces. So yeah. if anything were to happen and I had to sell off some of my silver, mm -hmm. I have other silver that I would be able to do that with. If I had only vintage in my stack, then that would be a problem for me. I know exactly and, what you mean because, you know, I have my stack of stuff uh, that, you know, I, I don't mind parting with that much. And I have stuff like for my auctions that I know I buy with the intention of, uh, you know, selling quickly. And I don't like basically fall in love with it. Uh, and then I have my other stuff like, oh, I don't ever want to part with some of these things, you know? Exactly. So um, it's good to diversify the stack. I, I recently started noticing I was going more into vintage. And I think your auction actually helped me realize it because I didn't realize it as I was doing it. <laughs> it was just ha naturally happening. I, I kind of like uh, the fact that, you know, vintage has the history and the stories behind it. And I, that just intrigues me. And, you know, my, my other thought about it is if I'm going to be looking at it for the next 20, 30 years, God willing, I want stuff that I uh, like and enjoy pulling out every once in a while to look at. I agree completely with that. Uh, let me ask you uh, about your channel. Uh, and by the way, if any of my viewers haven't been to Tuli Tuli's channel, uh, definitely check it out. It'll, the link will be in the video description. And uh, she is definitely a an up and comer with a lot of talent. What plans do you have uh, for the channel? Do you have uh, like uh, ideas that you are just going to like kind of let unfold over time? Or are you just kind of going to kind of freewheel and let whatever happens, happens? From a, like, from a business aspect, it would have been wonderful to be able to see my end goal and then reverse engineer it into... Mm -hmm the beginning and watch it grow. I kind of put the cart before the horse with mm -hmm. my channel. I wasn't able to do that. And I just wanted to get the content out there and start making my channel known. Mm -hmm. And I put the logo and everything that normally a lot of people do first, I mm -hmm. put it on the back burner. Yeah. So I, I am working on the logo. I want to, learn how to pour silver. I want to pour copper. Mm -hmm. I have um, some ideas of what I want to do with my channel. And they're coming to me as I am continuously putting new content out and I'm getting new ideas. So I'm excited to see where it goes, but I don't have a set concept of where it's gonna end, but I'm excited for the journey. Well, I definitely applaud you for taking the plunge. Uh, some people have uh, paralysis by overanalysis, and they sit there and think and think and think and think, and they just never do it. And so, for you and uh, you know many of the other up and coming uh, content creators, I say, you know, congratulations for just jumping right in. And it, it's been a fun journey for me too, and I'm sure it will be for you as well. Uh, are there any other channels that kind of inspired you to take the plunge? Oh, that's a, I, I, I see a lot of channels and they're all different in their own way. And that's yeah. what I love about it. Mm -hmm. I wanted to, one thing that I did with my, that I wanted to do with my channel is I want to be a hundred percent authentic to myself. I didn't yeah. want to pretend to be somebody. So in my videos, you see the real me. Mm -hmm. It's unedited and you either love it or you hate it and that's fine. But 
but I'm going to do something like this. I want to make sure I'm enjoying it. And that was what's most important to me because I don't want to be one person on YouTube and another person in real life. Mm -hmm. As for people who already have a channel that I look up to, uh, I've been a loyal viewer and to um, Silver Dragons and Yankee Stacking and Stormy. Many channels I've watched over the years, and I could just like keep listing them off and off. <laughs> but yeah, and it's kind of hard, and in some ways dangerous to even start rattling off names because you know you're going to forget somebody. But those three that you just mentioned, uh, yeah, those are three that are kind of like on my playlist as like towards the top that I just constant rotation. They have something new, I go check it out. It's just they're automatics. Yeah, and what I like about like. I like their content and a lot of other channels content, but mine is going to be a little different because I don't necessarily want to do the headliners mm -hmm. and all the stuff in the news. Because when I did this watch YouTube strictly as a viewer, my goal was to just get away from all of that. So I didn't want to watch it again on YouTube. Yeah. So that is like my getaway. So I want to do something fun, different, where somebody can watch something and not think about what's going on in the world or in their personal life. So that is something I enjoyed. And I would love to do that for somebody else mm -hmm. who is a viewer of mine. Yeah, it definitely uh, is escapism for myself and so many other viewers. And, you know, every once in a while, I'll watch a doom and gloom or something that uh, you know, you know, I think I, I need, I just need to know about, but the ones that I really, uh, enjoy the most are just pure escapism. Uh, and, uh, I'll give you an example, like Silverstruck. Uh, I love watching his channel and just learning about vintage silver. And he and I have very similar interests and, uh, he, his, uh, depth of knowledge is far greater than mine. And so every time I watch, I learn something. So I guess for me, it's escape, escapism and education, but in an entertaining way. And he kind of fits the bill for that for me. But uh, Mrs. T is uh, entering uh, the room and uh, she wanted to just uh, say a quick hello to you, if that's okay. I'm going to pass her the uh, the headset. Uh, one second, okay? All right. Good evening, Tuli Tuli. How are you? Good. Hi, Mrs. T. What an honor to talk to you. Oh, well, I don't know. Well, I, it's an honor for me to be with you guys, too. I'm like, I don't know about honor on my end, but uh, this is so cool. Congratulations on your channel, by the way. I really appreciate that. And your auctions are so amazing. I'm very fortunate to be a part of them. So thank well, you for yeah. letting me know. Well, no, thank you for all of your help and support, too. Uh, we really appreciate it. It's fun. You know, we enjoy doing them, and we have a lot of fun, and the chat is, is hilarious. So I look forward to it every week. <laughs> I know. So do I. And seeing everybody in the chat communicating and just getting together all at one in one live stream, it's very nice. And then yes. you see people in another live stream. It's like it's such a feeling of home away from home in a way. Yes, yes. Well, thanks again. Thanks again for your support, your help, and congratulations on the channel, and best of luck to you. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Mrs. T. All right. We'll see you. Thank you. Sounds good. Bye-bye. Well, hey, I didn't want to keep you too long, and I uh, really appreciate the time, and I uh, sincerely do hope that uh, my viewers uh, go and uh, find you and give you a sub and try out your channel. And I, uh, I guys, if you're, if you're watching this, you won't be disappointed. And, uh, you know, later on when Tuli Tuli has 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 subscribers, you could say, hey, I knew her when she was just starting out. So <laughs> it's I <think laughs> got a great YouTube career ahead of you, kid. I really appreciate that. Thank you for all your support and for everything you've done for me. I, it's I'm forever grateful. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Hey, you have a good evening. Bye.